Alright guys, we're back, back to Love Triangle Trouble. Last time, well, we made it into the hotel or motel, if uh, all of us except for the president, because he went chasing after his cell phone, I believe, that he lost at the train. So yeah, he, he never showed up, as far as I know. But everyone else did. And, well, we had a little bit of a, well, discussion about ghost stories and stuff before going to bed. So now I'm guessing this is what continues next. So let's continue with the story. Uh, Zuzu, please repeat your line. A few minutes after we leave the hotel, she meekly makes that request. Sure. <laughs> I hold out my hand and she clasps it with both of her, of her hands. The sensation of her soft, girly hands uh, caused my heart to skip a beat. Come on, man. What are you thinking? This is your little sister here. Oh, I see. You still get scared with ghost stories, huh? Oh, I thought you said you'd be just fine. I see. I squeeze down hard on her hand. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> yeah, I remember how scared you got after we went to see that horror movie that one time. You couldn't even go to the bathroom by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the memories uh, come breezy back to me. She would come to my room in the dead of night, teary eyed, and force me to come with her. It happened more than a few times. Oh, you also cried the first time we got sent on an errand alone. <laughs> Mm, I can't remember. I just know Dad asked us to go. <laughs> Happened long ago, I guess. Man, we went shopping so many times. When we were playing, when we were studying, and even when we were shopping, we were always together. And that was until our parents' divorce split us apart. <laughs> Huh? I'd be confused, my gaze naturally moves to my little sister uh, walking beside me. She smiles wistfully as she stares into the distance. Hmm. <laughs> There's such a distant tinge of sadness and sorrow in her voice that I can't help but stare. First came the divorce, then mom's death, and after that, Susu went to live with her grandma. I know grandma loved her and treated her well, but... Su? Were you scared once I left? Just a little. The smile then vanishes from Susu's face as she clings to my arm. She mutters. I'm sorry, I really should have called you at least once. She puts out a brief front, clinging to my arm even tighter. It almost seems like she's trying to make up for the lost time.
She can't hide her nervousness as she asks. For sure. I tried to convey how much I really believe that in my answer. You're super strong, Zuzu. She casts her eyes down, smiling gleefully, but just then. Oi! Oh, what's that? Oi! <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's a precedent, isn't it? Hey, it's probably just our imagination. Oi! Yeah, it's a precedent, isn't it? Susan's shoulders start shaking insensibly. Uh, an ominous voice reverberates throughout the darkness. It seems to be coming from just ahead. My mind instantly flashes back to the voice of Inkerisco's story. Ironically enough, I said the same thing this voice says. I cannot believe in ghosts uh, all I want, but that won't help me here. I'm trying. Uh, I'm in the unknown city in the dead of night. What could be more terrifying? So, so go back to the hotel now. Just go, I'll buy time for here for you. As we argue, the voice gets steadily closer. And finally, a figure bursts in front of us. Ah! <laughs> My fight or flight instincts in music again. I spin around, keeping a tight hold of Zuzu's hands, and sprint back to the hotel at full speed with it. The voice follows us every step of the way. As successful as we were, we somehow managed to find the energy to make it all the way back to the hotel. When we get there, we almost barrel through the door at our room. It's real! <laughs> well, at least someone believes in ghosts. More or less. Oh boy. It's real. It's really real. <laughs> what? <laughs> Be cool. <laughs> I swear to f Christ, we saw it. We frankly try to explain it to them, but our minds are too disoriented uh, to string actual words together. Perhaps. Uh? Just as we are about to make open an excuse, the door flies open and a familiar face walks in. Press. He points an accusing finger at both of us. Eh? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so, what the heck? So, what the heck? So, what the heck? Susu and I exchange confused glances that press almost straight into tears. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> well, crap. And then we both fall onto the floor lifelessly. <laughs> Kara's ghost story has gotten us riled up all, the, all for nothing. <laughs> and she's asleep. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> and there she is, lying right in front of us, sun sleep. Man, what a crazy day. <laughs> Oh, it was all your fault. Good time to sleep. Sleep time. So it is. The lights are controlled by one of the old fashioned cords, which Maho pulls. We all lie down in the futons, we've spread across every inch of the floor. <laughs> right. <laughs> the sound of giggling little sisters fills the tiny room. Go to sleep, we're gonna have to be uh, up bright early and, and early tomorrow.
Good night, girls. Uh, I shut my eyes and fall asleep dreaming of my first ever summer coming tomorrow. Great. <laughs> oh, I guess people don't 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 want to wake up too early. I mean, I don't know how early it is. But we're gonna miss the train if we don't go out and get up. I want to work together to rouse the sleepy troops. It takes some effort, but we finally get everyone ready and head out. Where? I don't see them. Where are the NPCs? I don't see them as empty. What are you talking about? What? What? I see no one. We successfully arrived at the venue at Summer Komi. Hot damn. I've seen it online on TV, of course, but actually seeing the place in person just makes the crowd seem that much more overwhelming. I mean, yeah. Overwhelming, I really don't see anybody. <laughs> Yeah, it's all in our in our minds. <laughs> Saying that, she checks the time on her phone. On a normal day, she'd be rolling around in bed at this time. We always spread out our treasure map as we wait to the end of the line. Yes, アカネ先輩は一般サークルの方に私とカーラ、キス先輩と部長は企業ブースへ間違いありませんかオッケーそう、ウィドゥフードコーツみなさん<笑> <笑>食料や水分もきちんと所持していますか一緒の油断が命取りになりますよみんな生きて帰るのだぞ。いやっすよ。かん、行くさ。処理をつかむてかちゃん。Let's <笑><笑> hope so. I mean, it's bright and early. Hopefully, at least we had something to eat, right? Alright, B team, let's make our first summer komi the best it can be. Oh! <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here then. Perfect. So, basically, next time is summer komi. Summer Komi, uh, what arc? <laughs> How long would it be? Who knows? What's gonna happen? Who knows? All we know is that we're split in two groups. So eventually, it, it seems just, it's just one day though. It's not it's not like a weekend. It's just one day. So that that makes sense, I guess. So that's one of the reasons they split into two teams so they can get all, everything they need to from both sides since they can't be at the same time. And supposedly there's supposed to be people walking around, but I don't see anybody. <laughs> there's no NPCs here. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be hilarious just to start seeing people walking. Yeah, well, anyways, guys, so well, that was uh, kind of short. Yes, because I want to keep at least uh, the convention part for next time. And, well, what happened is that, well, Zuzu and I had a little bit of a, I don't know, a recollection to what happened in the past. You know, <laughs> bro, sister, <laughs> bonding, I guess. And then Press came back. I don't know, do, uh, he had, he didn't say anything if he found his phone or not. So maybe he did. So yeah, then we got scared because of the story Kara was saying, and we went back to the hotel or motel. And uh, and well, the rest is history. Now we're this is the next day. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it this far into the video, leave a like, leave a comment if you would like to as well. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next one.